Okay, my friends, we're back. And I have only six, uh, two envelopes left that I did not um, trim because I wanted you to see. So that's the way you're going to dispose of. Although, I was thinking of ways of utilizing this, but all right, I'll let it go for today. Um, okay, now. So hopefully you have, by this point, you'll have all your your um, envelopes nice and um, let's see, yeah, nice and trimmed, and also with a half moon um, on them. And let me put this away. And this cardstock is a little heavy, so I noticed that this thing didn't, didn't want to cut together. It's kind of a you know. It's, thinking about it doesn't want to go so easily there we go I thought this stamp was really cool is that the stress kind there we go. this is very nice one that is a ticket I think it's Tim holds one of this old um, uh, uh, stamp anonymous, I think they are. And this is Q2 with the keys. All right. And I just combine different, you know, just because I'm nuts. These are his um, airplane, and then I put some birdies in it and whatever. Nothing. I don't. Um, I don't follow rules, obviously, as you can tell. This is one tree that I have, just a small tree, but I really like what it does when you put it together has kind of a cool effect to it and it's true you're not going to see them a lot because they're going to be glued but you still see some of them and when you stamp them I think they look really cute it's just a, an added bonus to its beauty okay. all right so our what's coming next is put them this ones together obviously you already guessed that that's going to be quite easy easily done and all you have to think is you know the the, the sequence that you want to put them on I think I'm gonna do that this this the birdies this uh, yeah okay so that's the sequence I am going to follow from the bottom I'll be getting them all right so when we put them together I am going to be using the heat gun just because it's fast and I want it done yesterday I don't want to be waiting uh, for it to dry but if you have a lot of time and you prefer to use uh, wet glue fine I wouldn't use um, like the ATG gun I don't think that tape is strong enough to keep it this is a file that's going to be you know be moved a lot and touched a lot and put things take things out um, so it'll take some beating so I would just stick with this okay and what you want to do let me show you the original box you want to glue them pretty much all the way close to the top I've done other accordions that I did not do that and they just kind of felt different it, like they didn't um, like almost like they were going to fall apart so to speak but I don't do it to the edges so I'm gonna glue one and I'll show you how I um, well let's see okay this thing was kind of stuffed up all right, so I just kind of do a square like this, really close to the edge here, but I don't want to be so close that um, that it's going to be showing on the side. Okay, I don't want that. Oh, and this I got the edge of the envelope on the side. Doesn't matter, nobody's going to see that. I always try to put it to the back, but I didn't do it this time. So again, it's kind of a thin. But this allows the folded to actually uh, stick to uh, stick to each other. But at the same time, it gives way when you um, are creating that accordion look. They open up really nicely. Okay, this is gonna go really fast now. Okay. 
Okay, very nice. And I think I am going to use all ten of them. Wasn't this cool? This um, this one is just this little stamp right here. This is quote the raven or something like that. And then it's just with a tree that I used on this other one. I just kind of sprinkle it everywhere and it looks really cute. Well, anyways, I like it. And uh, I know I'm kind of out there in the crazy world. All right. So as long as you put them together, you know, so they can all stay um, straight with each other, you will be fine. So yes, you're not going to see a lot of the design, but at the same time you will too. I always stand them up because I want to make sure that from the bottom to top they're straight. Then um, to make sure that your box is not going to look like it's you know falling apart everywhere. And I have to say, I really like this um, cardstock. Uh, the problem is I don't know where I bought it because it is thin enough um, to be pliable, but it's um, it's way firmer than just the ones that they use, the Manila paper that they use to make the regular, um, you know, tag envelopes. I thought this ones were better. But I don't know if I could uh, get some more because I don't even know where I got it. I'm going to go to my local one and um, bring a sample and see if um, if they have, um, if that's where I got it. Oh, those ones were not cut properly. I need to cut those ones a little better, but that doesn't matter. You can always take some more. You just can't put it back in. Okay. And we're doing the last one. Yay, we did it. Okay. Did you see this? Look at this. How nice does this look? That looks pretty cool. What did you think? I think so. And look at the look at the sides. I think it looks really, really nice. I'm also almost thinking of other things right now. Oh, that just totally gave me an idea. All right. Let's leave craziness to the side. All right, so let me see my time for this one. We're still good. All right, so what I'm going to do next, I am 